Good evening, Mr. Bond fans. So this whole No Time to Die thing, it turns out it might not just be an abstract concept after all, but we're actually getting a film? Yes, it looks like the release of No Time to Die is just on the horizon. And with it getting so close and my hype building and building and building, I have been watching and re-watching and re-watching and re-watching those trailers over and over and over again. But recently on my 982nd viewing of No Time to Die trailer 2, it did get me thinking that, boy, I, I, I'd certainly, anyway, re-watch these things over and over and over again leading up to the film, but then once the film is released, I'm not the kind of person who really goes back to see trailers once I've seen the film. And given that No Time to Die is going to be the end of Daniel Craig's tenure as James Bond, I was interested in going back and having a look at the key trailers for his previous four films and seeing how they stacked up against, well, the movies, <laughs> the movies themselves, and how they stacked up against this uh, recent Bond's promotional material. We're going to watch them through here, react and uh, review them, and then rank them at the end to see which is the best Daniel Craig era. A Bond trailer. Just a little bit of housekeeping though before we go in. I am just going to be looking at what I consider to be the main trailers for these films. So it's going to be whichever the first one was that was released and then I would say the, the main theatrical trailer that came afterwards. Obviously there are variations of these trailers for international markets, even for like the US market and whatnot. I'm just going to be going by, I'm mainly guided by whatever the, you know, whatever trailers they decide they're going to include on the, uh, the home media discs um, and whatever trailer was the first one released. For No Time to Die, because there's been so many trailers and it doesn't feel fair to include all of them in this ranking, I am just going to go by what I would say were the first main two. The very first trailer was that was released and then the um, second main trailer, which uh, was just the actual trailer two. So with that bit of housekeeping out of the way, let's dive right in with the first teaser trailer of the Daniel Craig era for, obviously, Casino Royale. Oh wow, they actually started the trailer in this black and white too. too. For a blunt instrument to understand. Any thug can kill. I want you to take your ego out of the equation. So you want me to be half monk, half hitman? I knew it was too early to promote you. While well, I understand double O's have a very short life expectancy. Oh, proper gun barrel. We do love a bit of uh, epic Bond theme in trailers. shots there not in the final film that look as though they're just kind of there for the promotional material. That last uh, camera whoosh, up to Craig. And there's a shot in there of someone tearing up a uh, playing card. That's interesting. I wonder if that was just for the promotional material if that was supposed to be in the film. It's, I don't know if I can tell whose hands those are. You know what? I thought that was actually going to be a lot more kind of the new Bond kind of trailer, but Honestly, I you could have told me that this was Craig's second or third film and I probably would have uh, believed that. I guess I'm thinking of like the GoldenEye trailer where they did make a bit of a thing about, right, this is the new Bond, this is the new guy. You were expecting someone else? Whereas this was very much, it, it felt a little bit like straight down to business. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the main trailer for Casino Royale. Let's see how this one holds up against its uh, teaser little brother. Your file shows no kill. Still another black and white intro. To become a double O, it takes two. How did you die? Your contact? Not well. You needn't worry. The second is... Oh! Yes. Oh, they just abbreviate that whole opening, I guess. The man was Le Chiffre, private banker to the world's terrorists, which would explain how he could set up a high-stakes poker game at Casino Royale in Montenegro. If he loses this game, he'll have nowhere to run. You're the best player in the service. The Treasury has agreed to stake you in the game. But if you lose, our government will have directly financed terrorism. 
I will be keeping my eye on our government's money. And off your perfectly formed house. You know it. Oh, much more plot in this one. I hope our little game isn't causing you to perspire. It doesn't bother you, killing those people. Well, I wouldn't be very good at my job if it did. How's our like music? Melted your cold heart yet? James, get the girl out. You're not going to let me in there. You've got your armor back on. I have no armor left. <laughs> You've stripped it from me. Whatever is left of me. Whatever Jeez, I they am, give away quite a bit in this. <laughs> The question remains. Will you yield? In time. Nope. Even in this trailer they got some shots that weren't in the final film. in that one a lot given away though <laughs> i'm surprised that they would show those scenes of the house falling in venice and vespa trapped in the lift i guess out of context if you haven't seen the film it you know it might not seem like a a spoiler or anything like that but looking back on it it's like oh wow you yeah they show a lot in this one also something about the uh i guess maybe they hadn't finished color grading the film by the time this trailer was cut because there's something about they always think of casino royale as being a you know, quite a saturated look to it, and this feels uh, feels a lot less rich. I, I'm really surprised that they just show you a completely abbreviated version of the uh, the opening uh, where he kills Dryden. Looking at both of those together, I think I might marginally prefer the Casino Royale teaser, the first trailer. Uh, I think it packs a bit more of a punch. It doesn't reveal too much. Uh, I like that we see Craig's Bond with a, a full-on nice gun barrel in there. It's, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go right now, the ranking stands, Casino Royale teaser trailer, and then the theatrical trailer comes in second. Let's see if anything from Quantum of Solace can better that. Now, for the Casino Royale trailers, I haven't looked at those in years. I don't even remember. Leading up to Casino Royale's release, I think I was maybe still a little bit miffed that I wasn't getting... I was still on the Pierce Brosnan hype train. I was perhaps a little bit miffed that we weren't getting a uh, another Pierce Bond film. So I, I wasn't really that engaged with the Casino Royale promotional material. Plus, you know, I... It, it, was, was YouTube even around when they were uh, building up to Casino Royale's release? I'm not sure, but, you, you know, the, the trailers weren't immediately accessible to me. I couldn't pull a device out of my pocket and, you know, watch them whenever I wanted. Quantum of Solace trailers, on the other hand, I remember being so hyped for that film, and I remember watching the trailers over and over and over again, so... I remember these having some really great renditions of the Bond theme to the final sort of action montages at the end. Um, let's see if my memory holds up though, we're gonna start with the Quantum of Solace teaser trailer. I was always very interested to meet you. I'd heard so much about you from Vespa. If she hadn't killed herself, we would have Reminding the audience of the last film, necessary for Quantum of Solace. Are you going to tell us who you work for? The first thing you should know about us is that we have people everywhere. I thought I could trust you. Oh yes, that shot. You said you weren't motivated. Not in the film, obviously, but these are. I'm motivated by my. Really duty. lovely. I think you're so blinded by inconsolable rage that you don't care who you hurt. <laughs> When you can't tell your friends from your enemies, it's time to go. You don't have to worry about me. Restrict Bond's movements. Put a stop on his passports. Find Bond. How long have I got? 30 seconds. 
That doesn't give us a lot of time. title card ending there. Love that. Love that shot of Craig coming over the uh, the mound with the gun. It's such an iconic look and it's such a shame it's not even in the film. So along with that, I also noticed there were these uh, intercuts to a, uh, a Shadow 007 going along the floor, which uh, I guess it reminds me of what we've seen in some of the No Time to Die trailers so far, where we have that metallic 007 and uh, some text over those um, those inserts. It's interesting that they do that. Obviously, we have the 007 embedded in the logo of the film at the end, so I think that makes it clear that it's a Bond film. I, I guess it sticks in the audience's minds, maybe. <laughs> it's almost like this subliminal editing going on, and it is a bit of a reveal that it kind of builds to, so it gives the final action montage a bit of a a bit of a build, I suppose, along with the music. I really like that trailer. I'm not a huge fan of Quantum of Solace, the film, but I, I really, yeah, that that trailer, just that, that you get a choir doing a Bond theme and I'm, I'm easily sold. But will this goodwill continue into the next trailer for Quantum of Solace? Let's have a look. He'd be a pretty cold bastard who didn't want revenge for the Judy Dench's Sunday. pronunciation of bastard is different in this trailer to I in the film. Care about vengeance. As a northerner, I notice how English people pronounce their A's. This man and I have some unfinished business. The first thing you should know about us is that we have people everywhere. What the hell is this organization, Bond? How can they be everywhere and we know nothing about them? This is the world's most precious resource. We need to control as much of it as we can. Name check, Dominic Green. He's a person of extreme interest. We've already begun destabilizing the government. You know who Green is and you want to put us in bed with him. Yeah, you're right. We should just deal with nice people. <laughs> Get in. Again, a lot more plot in this one, similar to Casino. The teaser trailer is a lot of uh, action and just Bond is back, whereas this one's much more about the uh, the plot of the film. You two do make a charming couple, though. You're both, what's the expression? Damaged goods. Yep, gotta love that shot. Seems we're both using green to get to somewhere. You lost somebody? I did. You catch her ever did it? No. Not yet. Tell me when you do. I'd like to know how it feels. We need you to get rid of him. When you can't tell your friends from your enemies, it's time to go. Right now, I think you're the brilliant version of the one team. James, move your ass. I wish I could set you free. But your prison is in there. Nice. Uh, memories of 2008 hype are just uh, flooding back now. See, for my money, I thought that they both worked better as uh, trailers than the Casino Royale ones. Particularly that last one. I feel like it, 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 it's nice when you can have a longer trailer like that and it's not going to give away too much. Uh, like, that one really didn't. I still had a lot more questions about the story, whereas I feel like the other Casino Royale trailer maybe just gave away a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm going to place both Quantum of Solace trailers above the Casino Royale trailers, and I'm going to go for... Um, I think my top is going to be the longer trailer. I, that twang and bond theme kicking in is just... Oh, it, it's chef's kiss. It's chef's kiss brilliant. I'm back on some of the promotional material that I remember really well and uh, re-watching a lot the Skyfall stuff. Now, up first we have the teaser trailer, which I remember actually seeing like, live when it was... I think they premiered it on 
BBC breakfast, the BBC breakfast program here in the UK, and I was just getting myself ready to go out for work, and uh, they said, oh no, and, and in uh, 10 minutes we're going to be giving you the uh, exclusive new Bond trailer, so I was like, well obviously I have to sit here and wait for this now, and I remember it playing, and I remember going into work so, so friggin' hyped. Um, I remember that there being this really cool, like, techno Bond theme kind of thing in there. Well, let's see if it holds up. Country. England. Gun. Oh, not in the film. Shot. Agent. Provocateur. Murder. Employment. Skyfall. Skyfall. Done. Lacks a very satisfying uh, sort of like action montage at the end. That one's very, very quick. Uh, but I love the whole boom, boom thing and all of these uh, provocative images. And I guess when you've got Roger Deakins doing the cinematography, you don't need all that much. You can just show any number of random shots and it's gonna look beautiful. So then let's roll right into the main theatrical trailer. See if this keeps the good vibes going. It's gone. You both know what's at stake here. There isn't much road left. Take the bloody shot. What do you say about a man like that? Three months ago, you lost the drive containing the identity of every agent embedded in terrorist organizations across the globe. 007 reporting for duty. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. I only have one question. Why not stay dead? There's no shame in saying you've lost a step. Targeting her. They wanted her to see it. It's spoiler. Welcome to the new MI6. I'm your quartermaster. You must be joking. Both the PPKS 9mm short. It's been coded to your palm print, so only you can fire it. Less of a random killing machine, more of a personal statement. Q. 007. I want to meet your employer. How much do you know about fear? All there is. Well, not like this. Not like him. Just look at you. Chasing spies. Oof, dramatic uh, music stings. She sent you after me, not when you're not ready, not when you would likely die. Mommy was very bad. The two survivors, this is what she made us. Everybody needs a hobby. So what's yours? Resurrection. Well, that kind of aced the whole uh, action montage ending, didn't it? Wow, that's an adrenaline rush. You know what I really like about these trailers? They show very little of the final act. Like, obviously, we have the shots of Silver walking away from the, uh, the Skyfall house in the background. But I still remember being in the cinema for the first time, not knowing what Skyfall was, even, in, in the context of the film, until 
uh, the, you know, the Bond and M arrive there, and it turns out it's the name of his family home, and for them to keep that under wraps, and, you know, not, they don't allude to it in the, um, in the trailers, which is, uh, which is really nice. But I do remember watching these trailers a lot, so I remember being slightly spoiled, because there is that terrific shot of Bond and M stood in Scotland, so when we get to the bit in the film in the Enquiry where Silver comes in and he's about to shoot, um, M, I did kind of already know that that wasn't gonna happen, even though they were kind of building it up as if it was gonna be her death. I knew that it couldn't happen because she was gonna be in a shot later on with Bond. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this is why for the next Bond film I didn't re-watch the trailers all that much. This is a tough one, but I think I am going to give the Skyfall, the main trailer, top spot on the list. As for the teaser trailer, it just lacks that action punch at the end for me. I really like all of the, you know, it, it's a focus on cinematography, and I like that they make Silver seem like this when the camera goes in on him in one of those shots. Uh, it makes him seem like some kind of like Joker figure or, or some kind of super villain, and I like that techno kind of Bond theme that comes in on the Skyfall. Uh, title card. But yeah, it's not one that really gets your blood pumping, I don't think. And that's kind of what I want when I'm going to be going into a Bond film. I'm going to put it just below the Casino Royale teaser, but above the Casino Royale trailer, because I think that that trailer just gave away a little bit too much of the story. And with that, onto the Spectre trailers. Now, these were trailers that you can see my old reactions to these trailers on this channel. Um, you can see how hyped I was for a film that turned out to be far from one of my favorite Bond films, but uh, as a result of my experience with the Skyfall trailers, I decided that for Spectre I wasn't going to, I was going to watch them. I think I ended up watching them twice, uh, uh, you know, for the recording purposes, really, of uh, the reaction on this channel. Despite having other reaction videos on this channel, I'm going to give them a watch now because it's been so long since I've seen them. Uh, and I'm curious to see if my, if you go back and see my old rank it, my old reaction videos, I'm super hyped for this film and for watching these trailers and now knowing what I know about it, I, I'm curious to see if, uh, my reaction to the trailers has changed. <laughs> It's a good opening shot, though. I'm... Forensics finally released this. Oh, yes, and they tie back to Skyfall. What is it? Personal effects they recovered from Skyfall. <laughs> Remember that audience? The movie that you liked? You've got a secret. Something you can't tell anyone. That is the nature of secrets, Money Penny. Because you don't trust anyone. I always knew death would wear a familiar face, but not yours. I was at a meeting recently and your name came on. Unflattered London are still talking about me. It wasn't MI6. You are a kite. A what? Dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Welcome, James. That is lovely, that little... It's been a long time. ...tinkling Bond theme. And finally, here we are. No action flourish at all in that one, Jesus. It's so funny looking back on these things in hindsight and how hyped <laughs> like I was. Maybe in like five years time, I'll be looking back on those No Time To Die uh, teaser reactions and like, God, I was really excited about that. That was, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a damp squib. Okay, well, let's see if the longer uh, theatrical trailer can redeem, uh, can redeem this film's trailer material. You had no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. God, I really... Oh, nice bit of on theme. I really don't remember so these trailers at all. They say you're finished. Oh, what are you not in the film? I think you're just getting started. 
Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. A few little tricks up her sleeve. Do one more thing for me. What do you have in mind? Make me disappear. Tell me where he is. See, this you one has nice music, way. at least. You should go there. You're crossing over to a place where there is no mercy. You're protecting someone. Get away from me! Why should I trust you? Because right now, I'm your best chance of staying alive. This organization, do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. And do you know who links them all? Me. Welcome, James. You came across me so many times, yet you never saw me. What took you so long? Is this really what you want? Oh, yes, this is the Majesty's music trailer. Hunting, being hunted, always alone. Stop to think about it. It was me, James. The author of all your pain. Hmm. Well, I, m I much preferred that one. I love that Majesty's music. It's so gorgeous. However, does it not just feel a bit wrong seeing a Bond trailer without a, 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 a rousing bit of Bond theme in there for the final action montage? In a way, I know that it's probably a, a... I know it's a bit of a quandary probably for the marketing teams every time it comes around to releasing one of these films. Like, how many times can you have an action montage? How many epic versions of the Bond theme can you do? So, I kind of like that they were trying something a bit different with this, to be perfectly honest. Uh, however, it just, it, it obviously does not have that Bond-specific something. It's weird, because like, obviously we Bond fans hear that music, and we know it's from Honor Majesty's Secret Service. We can make that connection to the history of the franchise. But to a general audience who can't hum every single John Barry piece of music <laughs> off by heart, then uh, maybe that would be a bit of a disconnect. Okay, so when it comes to the chart... The Spectre teaser trailer is going straight in at the bottom of this list. Whilst it certainly did its job for me back in 2015, watching it now, particularly after all of those, which just all build up to such a such a crescendo, uh, that one did feel disappointing. It's kind of like, okay, we've got going now. Do you want to keep going? Oh, no, we're stopped. Okay. Whereas the spec the longer trailer... Um, I'm gonna put in between the Skyfall teaser and the Casino Royale theatrical trailer. Again, you can go back and see my completely different reaction to watching that in 2015 where I was totally on board with the hype, but uh, that's the thing, like, whenever new Bond trailers are released, it's always just catching those little first glimpses of shots and putting together in your mind, imagining, like, what could be. Um, but yeah, it's funny going back, wow, those ones have, yeah, really changed the most in my mind, actually. I remember liking those trailers an awful lot. And now we come back to No Time to Die. I figured it might still be worth re-watching these trailers. You can see my initial reactions watching them for the very first time when they were released um, on this channel. I'll leave the links below. I thought it might be interesting to look at them again now, in close proximity to all of those other Craig ones, and see how they hold up. There's already that one uh, comparison with uh, Quantum of Solace with the 007. I'm curious to see if there are any other lingering similarities or threads. So um, here we go with the first released trailer for No Time to Die, which uh, it feels like it might be underselling it a bit to call it a teaser trailer, because I remember we were all really surprised when it came out. It's like a fully fledged, full on uh, theatrical trailer, so um, they've already, uh, yeah, changed from tradition there, but um, oh, let's dive right in, see how it holds up. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet.
Well, they've been using this bridge shot in uh, pretty much all of the trailers so far. The world is arming faster than we can respond. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. Name? Bond. James Bond. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. It's the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose. Control. James, you gave up everything for her. There's so much plot in this. To when say I this was the first out, trailer, this was the first the one they released. Him. James Bond. License to kill. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History isn't kind to men who play God. Love it. Cracking trailer. Yep. Great stuff. Okay, so that is trailer one. Let's have a look at trailer two. As I say, I'm only counting these two trailers. We're not going to go over the other No Time to Die, because otherwise this list is just going to be half No Time to Die trailers, the amount we've seen so far. isn't dead. I love this Bond theme. James, fate draws us back together. Now your enemy is my enemy. His name is Seven. And what does he want? Revenge. Me. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. You can imagine why I've come back to play. There's a young lady in Santiago I want you to meet. You're late. When you're ready. Can't wait to see the sequence. Salute. I met your new double O. She's a disarming young woman. I get why you shot him. Yeah, well, everyone tries at least once. James Bond. We both eradicate people to make the world a better place. I just want to be a little tidier. Come on, Bond. Where the hell are you? You have a flow like this. Nope. Harder to tell the good from bad, villains from heroes these days. What is it? You don't know what this is. He's going to kill millions. If we don't do this, there will be nothing left to save. This is my favorite trailer epic Bond theme. Oh, I just 
just need a playlist of epic Bond themes now. I think without a doubt the second trailer is superior to the first one. Um, when it comes to ranking these, obviously I'm aware that we don't have the the film there, so it's it's hard to see things like if it's revealing too much uh, and, and whatnot, but I think the first one I'm going to put just in between the Casino Royale teaser and the Skyfall teaser, and trailer two is going to go... I'm gonna put it in second place. I'm gonna put it just below the Skyfall theatrical trailer. Just because I think the Skyfall trailer, it, it works really brilliantly. It introduces Javier Bardem's villain really nicely without giving away too much of the plot. I love the build at the end, the choir coming in with the Bond theme. It's just, it's so epic and my favorite trailer of the Daniel Craig era. So do let me know in the comment section below, of these 10 trailers, what does your ranking look like? Is it anything like mine? Am I being unfairly critical of those Spectre trailers? Please do let me know your own rankings in the comment section below. Also below, if you want to hit the subscribe button and the uh, Mrs. Bell button as well for notifications whenever I upload uh, new content on this channel, please do consider um, hitting those buttons. And also below, you can find links to my various social media pages, including my Facebook page, my Twitter page, and my Patreon page. For those of you who want to go one extra step, in supporting this channel. And with all that being said, and until next time, Bond fans, so long for now.